So I'm sitting here in our caravan and um, getting ready for our next short trip away over the weekend. Most of the modern caravans come with a uh, double bed that has a certain size and um, fits perfectly into the space of the caravan. If it is a shorter caravan or smaller caravan like ours, only 18 feet, um, the mattresses are often shorter than the standard mattress in your bed at home. And for us, being tall people, um, that can be an issue uh, during winter. Not so much in summer when it's warm anyway and your feet hanging out of the bed during the night because it's hot and warm. And humid but in winter when you want to have it cozy and warm and you want to snuggle in your bed and the uh, mattress and the bed is too short that's not comfortable at all so what the caravan industry does is offering so-called bolsters and that's what I have here I know people in my life who had a caravan and they ha had this bolster and they told me they didn't know what it is for because they didn't need it they are not as tall as us. They were com comfortable in the size of the bed as it was. So they didn't even think about what this piece would be used for. And um, fair enough, because if you are not that tall and your bed is large enough for you, you wouldn't even think about that this could be an extension to your mattress, to your bed base. So. But that's what it is for, a bolster, just in case you didn't know. I know a lot of people know what it is, but as I said, I know people who don't, or didn't. Now they know, they learned it. Um, so, what I'm doing now, today, is making a cover for this bolster. This bolster goes on top of the bed, so it, um, it actually works like you can make your bed longer, the mattress, you can extend the mattress to make the base longer, especially when you're tall. And the bed frame is built for it. You can pull that out and pull the mattress towards you. And then you have a gap at the uh, headrest, at the head part. And that's where that bolster goes in. It just perfectly falls into that gap and then you push the mattress back against the bolster and you have a perfectly comfortable large enough bed to sleep on. At least for us, as I said, tall people, very comfortable as long as we use the bolster. Um, the issue that we have is that you can buy fitted sheets for the mattress, for the normal standard mattress in different sizes, but you can't buy um, covers or fitted sheets for the bolster. At least I haven't seen any at, at, at the moment, not yet. So, And I thought, right, okay, I make a cover or two for us and giving the bolster a little bit of protection. Um, it wasn't an issue yet because we haven't been away for too long and too often in our caravan yet. But as you all know, we want to change that. We are planning our big lab. Means we are living in the caravan for a longer time, um, hopefully at least 12 months, maybe longer, we don't know yet. And I just want to get ready with all the things we need. And this one is one of the projects. What I'm going to use is an old uh, quilt cover. These, we have uh, king size covers in our bed at home. This one is an older one where I um, lost the pillow covers for, for some reason. We moved a few times and in one of the moves I just lost covers for the pillow. So we only have the um, quilt cover here. And I thought that is actually quite the right color for the caravan. So if I make a cover for this bolster to sit on the top during the day when we travel and go into the gap when we pulled out the mattress for the night. Perfect. If it's dirty, it just goes in the washing machine and protects our bolster. Perfect 
plant. So that's the plan. You know what it is with plants. <laughs> you don't know if they work until you try. But that's what I'm going to do today. Giving it a go, creating a bolster cover from my old quilt cover. The next part will be a time lapse of making the bolster cover. And then I will be back with you to show you how it fits and how the end result works. So, let's do it! This is the pre-cut, I would say, um, the rough cover for this bolster. I cut all the excess off, which I don't know, uh, I don't need, which is down there. Might even fit for another uh, for another cover, so I can make two or even three out of them. And I only have to now close the um, the ends, left and right side. And I also have to do the um, the closure here, where the cover goes over the bolts bolster. So I uh, sew this ones on both sides that they fit snug, overlapping each other. I add the cam snaps, and I'm ready to go. I don't need any other um, seams, which I think is quite cool. Saves a lot of time. So I'm now on my cutting table and I'm adjusting the um, fabric here around the bolster to exactly know how much I can cut off. <music> I'm now going on to my sewing machine and do the um, plain fabric first along the opening. I fold the fabric edge twice to create a three layer edge, um, one inch wide and we'll go to the ironing board to give it a press first, makes the sewing la easier. And <music> I have to um, close the side seams, but first I want to show you I have done the top and the bottom uh, seams. And I just have to, as I said, close the sides now and create a, a nice fitting for the shorter ends. <laughs> So here comes the trick. Um, because this material doesn't stretch uh, and I want to be able to fit it around the bolster easily, I'm not closing the opening on the upper edges, but I'm leaving the opening running around to the uh, center of the sides, like the half down the sides. It's 20 centimeters high and I'm sewing, uh, I'm leaving it open until 10 centimeters towards the the center of the of the height and I'm setting the uh, seam here on that side. So I, I close the opening on this part and on the other end as well on like the 10 centimeter height of the um, part as well. So 
10 centimeters and that makes it easier for me to fit the cover around the bolster when I uh, put it on. Closed the edges by sewing a straight seam across the center of the short sides and now fitted the cover onto the bolster to figure out where to shorten the sides to create actually a little bit more neat um, finishing here. Okay, back to the sewing machine, four more seams and done. <music> Now I have successfully made this cover for the bolster and the only thing that is left is um, attaching the camp snaps so fitting the camp snaps to be able to close the cover and make sure it doesn't move anywhere and that's what I'm going to do now. <music> So here we have it, the finished cover for our bolster, ready to go onto the bed. This is the top of the bolster. Okay, let's see how it fits. I mean, the uh, bolster fits anyway, I know that one already. But When we are traveling, it is sitting here like that. Or even in the evening, when we want to use our bed as a sofa, we have a nice cover, nice backrest. And that's it. Done and pretty much tested our sofa. There you go. Happy days. If you have links for both the covers, if you found one or some, just leave them in the comments. Um, because I would love to check them out um, and um, if you have any other ideas, any other inspiration around your caravan, do it yourself, sewing projects whatsoever, just leave a comment and um, yeah, we would like to see you in our next video. Don't forget to subscribe, to like the video if you liked it and to hit the notification bell so you stay updated when we upload new uh, content and you will never miss out on any new videos. I have the feeling there will come some more in the near future so stay tuned and see you later. Bye!